The number one lesson, the number one lesson that I've learned is you cannot go about creating a real estate business on your own. And here's what I mean by that. Over 15 years experience in the real estate field, been doing this since I was 19 years old. At the beginning of my career, I just tried to go about this all on my own. I'm gonna figure this thing out. I'm gonna figure out what it takes to be successful. And one of the things that I used to do is look at what people in the office did, right? Oh, I got into this new real estate office and I looked at all the top producers around the room, right? The guys with the corner offices and the ladies who were just doing deal after deal, what I thought was a tremendous amount. And I tried to emulate them or copy them. What were they doing? How were they finding their business? But the struggle that I ran into was number one, I didn't have the connections that they had. I was 19, none of my friends and family were buying houses and selling houses. And if they were, they weren't using me. I started going through and just trying to figure it out on my own, which was a giant mistake. I needed help. I was right in the fact of I should model and I should copy what successful people were doing, but I took the wrong approach. The number one lesson that I've learned over my time in real estate is you have to find a coach and a mentor who you want to emulate. Meaning, Tony Robbins always says, stand on the shoulders of giants. If you want to go somewhere, you want to be successful in a specific field, find someone who's already done it or currently doing it and model them. Cut down the time to success. Model what they're doing. That's when everything changed in my real estate career. So it was 2014, I'm back into real estate sales after trying to flip houses, which I flunked out of. I was trying to do all these different things during that financial recession. And I made a little bit of money, but I never grew to the heights that I wanted to. So in 2014, I get back into real estate sales, but I say to myself, you know what? I have to go about this differently. There's gotta be a better way to do this. So what do I do? I start researching who's the top people in the industry selling the most amount of homes. And it took me right to, when I start Googling this, it took me right to Real Trends, right to the Wall Street Journal's review of the top real estate professionals throughout the country. And I just got this bright idea, like the light bulb went off. And what did I do? I picked up the phone and just started calling. And guess where I started? I started at number one. I started at number one and just started working my way right down the list. Called number one, I said, hey, my name is Blake. I'm an aspiring real estate agent. I wanna learn from the best. And I was wondering if you would coach me. Click. First three people on the list, click. It wasn't even a reply, it was click. And I started working my way down. And finally, I got to my real estate coach. The person who's still by my side to this day as an advisor to our real estate business. And he has now transformed my business. And throughout that experience, I learned a lot about myself. I learned a lot about business. I learned a lot about personal and professional growth and development. So now here I am in my life and I have seven different coaches and mentors surrounding me. In most of them, yes, in the field of business, one from an experienced real estate team leader, one in accounting, one in operational structure, one in marketing, all these people are bringing different skill sets, different experiences to help us become the number one real estate team in the nation. If you guys don't know this, I'll go ahead and share this 10 year BHAG. The 10 year BHAG for my real estate business is to be the number one real estate team in the nation. And along that journey, I've learned so much about it that others have come to me and wanted to learn what we're doing to model. And they're doing exactly what I have done. Had I done this earlier in my career, what could have happened? What could I have accomplished had I known that the wisdom behind finding people who are or have been where you aspire to go to? they're already there. They're in the trenches. They're working through those challenges and problems that you're not, that you're years away from. They've already been where you're at and they can help you. And once I found that, boom, everything changed. So I know there's a lot of people out there that talk about the number one lessons they've learned and it's about specific to operations or hiring or marketing or whatnot. But for me, it was all about finding people to model because modeling was the way to cut down the time frame to success. I mean, imagine this guys, if you could just model exactly what I've done to this point and had the, have the business that I have, over 300 
million dollars in annual sales, over $10 million in commissions a year, would you call that success? Would you be happy and satisfied where if you never worked with buyers and sellers, you just were the visionary of the business and went in for strategic meetings and had all the success, would that be successful? If so, those are the type of people you wanna model. You don't wanna just look at modeling the people who run maybe small teams and but are always out working with buyers and sellers if that's not your vision. That wasn't my vision. The vision for my business was not to go do that. The vision was to actually have a business. So that's why I went and found the coaches and mentors that I had in my life and I currently have in my life. So my number one lesson, find a coach and mentor who has a business or has had a business that you want to have. All right, hopefully you guys found this valuable. That's gonna be it for me today. If you found this valuable, hit the subscribe button. Got tons of other content on my channel if you wanna check it out as well. But I'll see you guys on the other side.